Hey, welcome to one of my new favorite types of videos. It is another Owl Crate unboxing. Magical monthly reads. <laughs> this is the November box and the theme is courts and castles, something of the sorts. I'm sure we'll find out as soon as we open the box. <laughs> I got a sneak peek of this one so I know a little bit about what's inside, but I'm very excited to go over it with you guys talk about it a little more. I think that's the most fun out of doing this. So let's not waste any more time and get her open. Let's see. Owl crate. Oh, it's upside down. We have some exciting stuff inside I can see already. Ooh. Castles, courts, and kingdoms. November 2017. I love the purple. I love that I wore purple today. Not just to match this card. That just happened. But I matched the card. And that's pretty exciting. That's really pretty. First and foremost, we have this really cool winter hat. Obviously, everyone's thinking winter is coming. So let's give everyone hats, which I'm very excited about. I'm going to need a lot of hats. And this one is Harry Potter Expecto Patronum. Oh, with the little owl crate tag. I like that. <laughs> and there's a pom-pom on top. Yep, I'd say I'm for it. It's a little tight. Let's, if your head is larger than mine, it likely would not fit. That's pretty cool. Expecto Patronum. I actually wore, I got, I received a hat in my Nocturnal Readers box as well, and it was Game of Thrones. So I was a little, you know, not a Game of Thrones fan, but I liked the hat a lot, and I've actually worn it. So, <laughs> keeping that one. We have our pin this month, which is a little section of the card. Oh, I was not sure what I was looking at here, but this is a magnet. Juniper and Ivy Designs.com, Owl Crate Exclusive. I don't know what that says. Duras? When people say impossible, they usually mean improbable. <laughs> that was the magnet piece that just shot across my desk. Ugh, oh, the excitement I get from opening these boxes. Uh, this is from Lee Bardugo's Grishavers? Grishavers. Which order of Grisha are you? I don't know, but now I really want to find out. It's technically a brooch. That's why. Oh, I have a collar. I could put it on my collar. Ah! <laughs> I have no idea what I am, but I'm very excited to find out, and I love that I can now use this card as a bookmark. <laughs> Book nerds are always thinking about what they can use as a bookmark. We have chapstick, another amazing thing to have for winter. Also purple. This is also Game of Thrones. I feel like I jinxed myself by saying negative things about Game of Thrones. And then all my favorite boxes included Game of Thrones items. But come on, a beanie and chapstick are much more practical than getting another Game of Thrones action figure. This one is Blackberry Mint Owl Crate Exclusive. And it says winter is here. <laughs> Soybean oil, beeswax, sunflower oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, vitamin E, aloe vera, and flavoring. Ooh, it smells, it smells exactly like blackberry and mint. Smooth. Now I've got lipstick all over my chapstick, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. We have a little box here. What does this say? Speak friend and enter. Oh, this must be a Lord of the Rings thing. It is Elven Bread Soap from the Fizzy Fairy Apothecary. My mom has asked for these. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing with them, but she specifically mentioned she watched my video and wants me to save these things from Owl Crate. So, those are for mom. Uh, this is adorable. It looks like it's wrapped leaves. Elven Bread Soap made exclusively for Owl Crate. It smells beautiful. I feel like every single thing I pull out of these boxes smells beautiful. A bright and refreshing combination of Moroccan Mint, Garden Cucumber, Juicy Clementine, ooh, Cyclamen Blossoms, I don't know this, Lily and Cactus. And I love fancy soap. If you follow me on Instagram, I post every single time I order. Well, not even every single time. I didn't this last time, but I order from Witch Baby Soap a lot to get really cool soaps. And uh, I usually post about it. Love fancy soaps. 
Next we have a notebook. This is really pretty. Again with the purple. Nailing that purple theme. I like it. It is a court of mist and fury styled by Stella's bookish art. Don't let the hard days win. Ooh, ooh, there's a bat. And a deer. And some crows and berries. I like this a lot. And I love notebooks. I use notebooks constantly. Which seems weird because we do everything on our phones now. But I find that when I write things, I remember them better. I like to keep lists. I'm an avid list writer. Oh, I just got a new planner. You can see it back there because I love planners. And notebooks. This baby is huge and super heavy. I love it. To keep track of all my notes and goings on. I can't show it to you because it contains Star Sable secrets, but uh, that's my planner. So I love that kind of stuff. I love this notebook. It's beautiful. Just plain lined notebook. And then we get to this month's book. I'm pretty excited. I know this author. The Glass Spare by Lauren Stefano. I have another one of her books that I haven't read yet. It's um, Wither. I have Wither on my bookshelf. Luminous and spiky like a pocket full of jewels. Ooh. I want to be careful. There's some stuff here in the back. Bunch of goodies. Ooh, there it is. This one smells lovely. <laughs> the Glass Spare. If there was a company that offered dangerous vacations inside of books, I would want to go to this one and travel the skies and seas with its vexing honorable liars. What? That sounds exciting. A beautiful spine, of course. Oh, I love when the edges of the pages are textured. It might be hard to see, but they're not smooth, they're textured. Wilhelmina Heidel. That's quite the name. Wow. Okay. That's an interesting premise. It seems that the fourth daughter of the king has been kept a secret so that she could become a spy for him. And <laughs> somewhere along the way learns that her touch turns people into gemstones. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to go with that, but I'm excited to find out. That explains a lot of the gemstones on the cover. Oh, it's textured. Of course, let's check out the inside. Beautiful. We have our signed book plate. Temporary tattoos of gemstones. That's pretty cool. I found an amazing tattoo artist on Instagram who does gemstone tattoos and they look beautiful. They look so vivid and so real. It's amazing. And we have our card, the glass bear with a note on the back. It looks like she hand wrote it. This is the story of Will, a princess with a complicated life. Her brother Owen was the heir. Her brother Baron was wicked. Her brother Gertie was a genius. And Will? Will always knew she had a wanderer's heart. What she didn't know was that her heart was also <gasps> cursed. <laughs> I love that we get notes and stuff from the author. And then we have our booklet in here. Oh. So we can take a peek at th how this cover differs from the regular release cover. I believe ours is the purple theme and the regular is blue. There it is. Purple to go with the rest of the purple theme. I like it a lot. And there's uh, info with, oops, this side, with Lauren Stefano. I also follow her on Twitter. She does giveaways once in a while. You should check it out. There's the Fizzy Fairy Apothecary. That's such a neat little touch to include uh, details with, about the author and the items that are included in the box. So it's not just giving you random items, it's also giving you a company and a story and you can take it from there. They also do photo challenges every month, so that's this month's, well, December's photo challenge coming up. The December theme is Seize the Day and we get an item from Bookworm Boutique which I don't know who they are or what they do. We'll have to check it out. So this is next month's theme, Seize the Day. This looks beautiful. This looks very seasonal. She looks toasty, warm, and cozy. And then of course there's our um, sneak peek again, but let me look these people up real quick. 
Okay, that's really neat. It looks like they have a link to their Society6 page, which is a fantastic website to get all sorts of stuff with cool designs on it, like uh, tote bags and mugs, pillowcases, shower curtains, um, comforters, duvet covers, all that good stuff. So, I don't know, maybe it will be... It looks like obviously all book-related. I can't live without books. My favorite character died again. <laughs> What else? Jingle all the way to the library. <laughs> Out of my way. I'm going to the bookstore. Beep beep. <laughs> so just a lot of book and reading themed designs that you can get on uh, an assortment of items. You know, laptop covers, stickers, mugs, like I said. So who knows what we'll be getting? That's really exciting. And of course it's going to be book themed. So again, another amazing month. I love that everything was tied together with the purple theme going on. I'm really excited for next month. Seize the day. That looks so pretty. I love that artwork card. I also use these as bookmarks too. And yes, I still have my brooch on. I need to look this up because I don't know anything about this author, this book series, anything. But I'm really curious now that I have this badge. So that's really cool. And of course our Expecto Patronum hat. That might be my favorite item from the whole box. Even though I love everything else, especially the book. I very much look forward to reading it. I'm going to start the book from last month soon, Wild Beauty. Um, I had packed it and then had to go searching for it, <laughs> so I unpacked a lot of stuff to find it again. Woo! <laughs> so I will let you guys know if it's any good. But I hope you're all having a wonderful November, and I look forward to hearing about if you're reading the same books, if you got Owl Crate, what you think of my hat, <laughs> anything you want to talk about in the comments below. If you had a good time, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!